welcome back guys on this video we're talking about emily and um ariane gudia getting married as well because of bright switching drama that happened on the day emily and ariane should have gotten married buddy amas plan is also exposed and it's been revealed that she's actually evil she came for revenge and also she wants property and every other stuff and she even tied emily up and you know used gudia to replace emily and ariane and everybody are really unaware about this and is even ready to get married to Gudia. so who will save them is the question don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't as we jump straight into the video of today the episode starts with Ariane going to Emily's room to talk to Emily before the wedding. Emily looks at Gudia when Ariane enters. She hides behind the couch and Gudia covers her head with veil. Ariane says that he wants to talk to Emily just for her. He says that it is not true that she means nothing to him and assures her that she will not leave her alone in any situation and will always support her. And also says that if she needs her hand in any stuff that, she will, that he will support her and she will never ask for friendship but at least she can consider him to be a mentor. Emily overhears everything behind the couch and says that Ariane is still trying to cover his, misbeed, his misdeed by such words. She says that she is getting married to a girl who loves her, so maybe he will learn to tell the truth. Satagan comes there and awaits for Emily and Ariane. Mitty says that she is happy seeing them. Namanda praises Satagan for giving Emily such a good upbringing. He also praises Ariane. Ariane and Gudia comes there and also Ariane tells Satyakam that the latter is finally here so he can perform his Kandada rituals. Satyakam says that Emily is a gift from him so he won't hand her over to any man but trusts that Ariane will be able to make Emily happy. Ariane says that he would not worry, he will protect her. Satyakam asks Gudia why she she not speaking anything. Mitty says why Emily didn't meet Satyakam properly. Gudia gets nervous and hugs Satyakam. Satyakam tries to remove her veil and to see her face but Badi Amma gets scared thinking Gudia will get caught. Badi Amma stops him them saying Badi Amma stops him saying that before the wedding there is no bride remover or neither would the bride talk to anyone. They they're actually trying to protect Gudia here now. Namanda introduces Badima to Satyakam Apana tells Pankaj that at the time I know I attend the wedding which is good for him. Imli is about to hide out and leave the venue without anyone's knowledge. Badima stops her thinking it is Gudia before Emily could show her face, but the tells her about the bangles and reveals her real colors in front of Emily, and also says that after the marriage, that they'll throw her out, that they'll throw out Apita and Amanda from the house, and both of them will be staying in ashram. And later, they'll put false allegations to Ariane and send Ariane to jail. Emily gets shocked on hearing this, and she thinks that she is going to commit a big mistake. Gudia and Badima are greedy, and they don't even love Ariane as family. So at this point, what is actually happening is Emily is like trying to let Ariane get married to Gudia, then hide out and leave the venue. But now that she has found out that these people are not even like good, she's now like changing of mind and is now going. That means we are having two brides at this point. Anyways, later um after Emily after Badima reviews. His, his motive to Emily not knowing, thinking it's Gudia. Then um, Gudia comes, the man Gudia now comes to Badima and the latter slaps her, saying that she is not without her. Emily bumps into Satyakam, hugs him, uh, hugs him excitedly. Satyakam says that he liked Ariane at first, but when he felt that Aditya is a character problem, he says that Ariane will make Emily more happier. Later on, Satyakam says that he has to leave now as he has some urgent work to do. Satyakam has Mitty and Emily. Nila and Gudia sees them and Gudia says that Emily fooled them smartly and now she is going to the Mandab to marry Ariane. Apala takes Emily to the Mandab. Then Nila says that she won't let Ariane get married to Emily. Then later on, Emily comes to the altar with her head covered with a veil. She gets into thinking that the properties are looking happy and Ariane is even and Ariane's family is also waiting for her, but Emily decides Ariane's family is innocent, so she has to get married to save them from Nila and Gudia, and that this marriage is only fake and can save them. Now, Emily sits in the altar with Ariane. Ariane thinks if Emily have said yes to the marriage, then why is she hesitating? Nila says as first, Emily has to wear the bangles, else she can't perform the rituals. She makes Emily wear traditional bangles and injures her hand unknowingly, and injures her hand knowingly. She puts oil on her wound and messes the thing. Ariane worries for Emily and Apana takes her out of there and cleans the oil that fell on her. Apana wants her to stay away from Nila as she is a bit strange. Emily learns Aditya hasn't even come yet. She tries to call him but Apana says that Emily doesn't need to worry. Later, him. Apana thinks that she can't open the door of Aditya's room else that he would take desperate step out of anger. She can't take that risk. Nila then makes Emily unconscious and tells his men to tie Emily up. 
Nila is actually done by the Amma woman. She also tells her men to tie him up with a rope and they should also shut her mouth up too. Apana finds good they are sitting there. She assumes it was actually Emily and asks her to go to the Amanda without wasting time. Then Nila says that she have told Emily to sit. Goodia, who is assumed to be Emily, sits next to Ariane and the priest starts chanting the mantra. Emily finds herself above the altar where Ariane and Goodia are getting married. Ariane feels something is wrong. Goodia's hands start trembling. Emily hopes Ariane will see her and look up, but all were in vain. She feels helpless. Apita tells Namanda that why is Nila happy? Nila eagerly waits for the wedding between Ariane and Goodia to finish. Ariane performs the marriage ritual with Goodia, and up there, Emily prays to God that Ariane should not marry Goodia at any cost. Ariane sh and then her tears drop on Ariane's face, and Ariane looks above. He gets shocked seeing Emily up there. Emily frees her hands and falls down. Ariane, Ariane saves her from falling. Ariane asks her what is what have happened? Why is she up there? Emily can't be able to speak. Apita removes the veil of Goodyear and everyone gets shocked on seeing Goodyear instead of Emily there. Badia Massa pretends they slaps um Goodyear and starts acting and says that Goodyear have ruined her reputation completely in front of the family. Nila shows fake concern for Emily and apologizes to Ariane. Goodyear pretends to apologize to Nila, but she pushes her away. Goodyear tries to talk to Ariane, but she tells her to leave at once. He warns her not to come back or else on his life or Emily's life, and Nila also tells Goodyear to leave. Ariane leaves Emily up, and after they finish reviving Emily, they continue their marriage. But if you think that they will get married immediately after this, then you are joking because Emily as well abandoned Ariane in Otter and left. Thanks for watching up to this point guys i will see you next time and um bye guys I will